Google development expert for the Angular team. There's been an awakening here. To me, Angular 1 was awesome, but Angular 2 just blows it away. There's so much great stuff coming with Angular 2. And it's all of us in this room, thank you for wearing your costumes today. Took this photo out there. Software is software. It's about what the people do with the tool. It's about the experience we have with coding it. And something you're going to notice, or more specifically not notice during my talk, is less. So I'm going to go over seven keys in Angular 2. Modules, components, and templates, the key parts of Angular 2 to build an application. We're going to be using ES6 modules. How data binding works. Structural directives to build different code. Services so we can pull in other parts of the application, maybe using HTTP. And the new dependency injection platform. If I flip over to Chrome and I highlight somebody, I can select them. Not too bad, right? Think about how you do that in Angular 1 with different kind of things like ng class. Now we don't need any of those ng dash directives. Notice we're not using those for ng click or ng class or ng style. We're just using what's built into the DOM. So let's flip back over to our application. And when I select here, I've bound to the object. A little debugging on the fly. Notice in the hero component, I've bound to the actual hero. I actually want to show the name. Over here we've got a list. I can type in Chewbacca or Ray and I can change Ray's name to Luke because we all know where Ray's coming from, right? We hope. Maybe Ben? I don't know. Hey, for all we know it could be this guy. Um, what about not hard coding? Does everybody here like the hard code? I mean, real applications you tend to just hard code it right into the view, right? Let's pretend that we don't like the hard code. Instead, we can take advantage of Angular 2 services. Now, notice a service is just a class. There is no provider constant value factory service. Thank you, Igor. <laughs> Let's say we wanted our service to not explicitly hard code this again. Instead, we want to use HTTP. Well, just like with the hero service, we had to tell Angular that it existed. Let's go up into our app component, or our root here, and our main component, and let's tell it that we want to use HTTP. So we're going to use an import statement again. And here we're going to say, hey, Angular. And it's going to say, yeah, John, what do you want? And then it's going to say, oh, I want these HTTP providers. What, Angular doesn't talk to you? <laughs> All right, so we get our HTTP providers. We've now told it that HTTP is a thing that we need to be able to get. All right, so inside of the service, now we're going to take advantage of HTTP. We're going to import it down here. We're going to say, okay, let's go back into the Angular HTTP and we're going to pull out HTTP itself and we're going to deal with the response so we'll get him out. So now down in here, we've got to type in a constructor to get our HTTP service. So we're going to say, okay, we'll get HTTP. The constructor is now going to know how to get that guy. And inside of our heroes function, I've got another snippet which is called HTTP get. And in there, I'm going to pass in my different URL. I think it's app slash heroes JSON. It's going to map back a response. So what we've done here is we've built an application where we've used HTTP to pull data in, services, dependency injection, data binding, property binding. And you notice we never had to deal with a lot of ng dashes inside of our app, which is pretty cool. And the application got um, put together pretty quickly. So I'm going to push this up to GitHub. And just to kind of wrap up, show you some of the tools that we used here today. So we saved a lot of keystrokes by using these snippets that I showed you. You can get these up for VS Code at this link here. As we add more uh, snippets, we'll put them up in the style guide so people can get to them. But we can do better than what I did today. I wrote an app in 18 minutes. You could forget everything I just showed you if you use the Angular CLI. You can do it in about 15 seconds. 